I'm Lucilla Byrne. I'm Keeper of Antiquities at the Fitzwilliam Museum here in Cambridge and I'm the principal investigator on the AHRC funded project Greece and Rome at the Fitzwilliam Museum. Uh, this project came about as a response to a call from the AHRC for collaborative research between a university department and a museum, specifically for research underpinning both the physical reorganisation of our Greek and Roman collection and the intellectual concepts behind it. I'm Mary Beard, I'm Professor of Classics in the Classics Faculty in the University of Cambridge. Um, I've been involved with the Fitzwilliam as chair of the project that was AHRC funded uh, to revamp the galleries. What the AHRC funding has aimed to do, and it's been very productive, is get museum professionals and academics up close, personal, talking to each other about display, about interpretation, about how to put objects over, how to understand them. Very important. The AHRC's announcement of this particular funding stream came at a perfect time for the museum because we'd already raised the majority of the money we needed for the physical refurbishment of our Greek and Roman collection, but we really needed more people to help with the work. My name's Christina Rizek. Um, I'm a conservator and my post has been funded for two years here by the Arts and Humanities Research Council. I'm Dr Kate Cooper. I am a research associate, AHRC funded research associate. I'm here for three years to do with this Greek and Roman gallery project. My name is Julie Dawson and I'm, my title is a Senior Assistant Keeper Conservation the Department of Antiquities, which is just rather a long way of saying that I'm the um, conservator for this department and so my work involves is actually the um, active conservation and also collections care of um, the entire Department of Antiquities collections. Um, I've spent the first year of my post carrying out practical conservation treatments on the objects that are on display in this gallery and I'm spending the second part of my contract carrying out research into these objects. And I'm the curatorial side assisting with the curatorial side of this project but my background is in classical archaeology and so I am the effective link between the classics faculty and the museum. A lot of people don't necessarily realise that the way objects look nowadays doesn't necessarily reflect how they looked when they were first uh, used in antiquity or also how they looked when they were excavated as well. And a lot of what we do as conservators behind the scenes isn't at all apparent. An example like the Marley Genius, which is a small Roman bronze, um, which is in the, in the gallery here, um, which had suffered very badly from corrosion um, of the metalwork. This has had a very severe treatment carried out on it to arrest um, that, that deterioration process and it's actually destroyed the object aesthetically and also taken away some of its meaning because it has actually reduced the detail um, on the object. A project like this gives us the opportunity to go much more deeply into some of those aspects by giving us the time and the resources. Having this, this project and the extra funding from the AHLC has given us both the impetus and the opportunity to spend much more time on research because we really have to understand our collections in order both to care for them properly and to be able to interpret and explain them to the public. We have lots of different levels of research and of interpretation. Basically speaking, research will happen behind the scenes, it'll either be studying the object in detail or it'll be reading up about it, about its, its history, about other pieces that are in, in the same category and have been found together, about the sites that it's been found from. We then need to promote it, um, make it comprehensible at a level that isn't off-putting to the public while at the same time dealing with fairly complicated issues. But it's also been terribly important in getting our students engaged with how museums 
operate and how display operates and what the problems are really from the inside. So we, in the course of the project, we have brought graduate students and undergraduate students here to say, how would you do a museum display? We've got them doing things like saying, all right, you, know, you try writing a label, you try thinking about what you should put on a display panel. And it's been extremely revelatory uh, on both sides. And then, of course, the research itself feeds into outreach because, quite simply, we have more interesting information to put out to the public if we've actually had time to do some research. And we also do a lot of outreach activities like gallery handling sessions and so on. And that's a chance for us to explain one-to-one -one with members of the public how these objects were made and uh, what we do as conservators and some of the current issues in research. All of these shapes are to do with the drinking party, but it's a particular type of drinking party called symposium. We have a drinking cup, so as I drink, my eyes and nose are being replaced by the eyes and nose of a sort of grotesque pottery face. Here we have the, um, the wine-related um, scenes decorating a wine jug, so very appropriate for the situation. Here. We have an amphora shape. So this would be holding the wine, basically. And on the one side, you've got a draped youth. And this is exactly what you'd expect to see on this kind of vase. But then, we have something a little bit different. On this side, let's see what you might be able to just make out. Can you see what she's doing? So she's spinning. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and she's got the, the ball of, of yarn in her hand, and she's got on a distaff and then she's got the spindle at the bottom and she's spinning, she's being a good Athenian woman. This would be the kind of place where men would be saying, this is what I'd like out of a wife and this is the ideal. My name is Sarah Blake and I'm one of the teachers in the galleries. So I work on the antiquity side and I work in the studio, we've got a studio downstairs. The response of children to our collection here in the Greek and Roman galleries is absolutely tremendous. They come in and they're full of excitement they really like the fact that a lot of the new display isn't inside glass, so they can come and see very close up what the artefacts look like and get a feel for their weight and their texture. And it's very immediate, so they really do enjoy it. But we don't just work with children, we work with adults as well and young people from all sorts of different sort of demographics. So it's a really important part of the museum life and hopefully there are visitors of the future as well. My name is Shahid Chaudhary. I, I come quite often, I near, live near, there's more artifacts now than compared to the past. So it's a more uh, interesting and there's, there's more information here. Well, my name's Paul Watson, um, I'm an amateur artist and I come to the Fitzwilliam probably on average once a month. The, the museum for me is a golden opportunity to see high quality artistic works in the flesh so to speak which is a great inspiration to me, and it also gives me technical knowledge in, into how paintings have been put together. Grants like this one that encourage collaboration between museums and uh, the academic sector, the university sector, are very important because they, they give uh, people working in these two slightly different places the opportunity to interact. It gives the academics a, a public forum to communicate their knowledge and their ideas and it also is I think stimulating for both parties to have new people to work with from time to time. It's been relatively easy for us in Cambridge to have this sort of collaboration. All the same I think that what we've done here has shown just how worth it putting together curators and academics, locking them up in the same room and giving them a joint project and say, get on with it. I think the result is better than what either of them could have done on their own.